Welcome back to our channel where we provide tutorials, tips for optimizing your online presence. In today's video, we have an important topic to cover, how to use Google Merchant Center. Google Merchant Center is a powerful tool that allows you to showcase and promote your products on Google, reaching millions of potential customers whether you're an e-commerce business or a retailer. Understanding how to use Google Merchant Center is essential or driving traffic on sales. So if you're ready to learn how to use Google Merchant Center, the easy and quick way, you're in the right place. So without further ado, let's go and dive in. So here we can add more details about us, our business profile manager of Google. So our business name, you can add anything you want right here. Once you've done that, click on next. And here, choose how your business serve your customers. Your business is a restaurant, bar, or cafe. Customers can purchase products through your website. You make sure that you will read all of the description right here and click it the way you reflects your business. So click on next. Add your business website right here. Click on next. And your country right here. So stay in the know. You can skip this if you want. And then here, click on next. And once you're good to go, let's finish the remaining steps. So over here, start with pre listing. Get your performance right here. You can go ahead and go to here. So this is our dashboard here. So we're here, Global Merchant Center. And here are the settings right here. Messages, help, and the notification right here. So start with free listing, so click on get started. Once you click on this, you have account issues right here. Click on that and let's fix it that. So here add our website contact information. Go to our products right here. And our different products are add product and here address sale language make sure to fill this up and by the way if you're if this tutorial is so fast enough for you you can pause it and follow those steps so that you can follow it briefly and play it once you've done with the first step so here let's verify this one we have here the product identifiers so this product identifier you make sure to fill this up and make sure to read all of the information right here so once you click on that click on advance for product data and here just fill this up you can also add your picture right here with the price availability and here let's go and do this one So here, GTIN number right here. So it can be anything. This is the sheet of right here. These are the sheets of the product. So here it generates the ID number. So here are the categories of the accessories or the products that we will be adding. So here. But here you will not be using this, but for me, basically here, search for ID right here. So let's try to find the SQ. Uh, here is the GTI and click here. This is what it look like. So this is the format. This one this is the example entry file format right here. These are the group of numbers for the limits. So 
So once you're done with this, let's copy this text right here and let's paste it in here. So once you're done with that, go to SKU, paste it again for the title. You can add the title like here. Like let's add this like fountain pen right here. Just an example, just for tutorial purposes only. So the brand, you can add the brand right there. And once you've done with that, you can click on this. This description you can add it. So the link, add the landing page link here image link right here and also you can browse it right away let's go to search for the products here just for tutorial purposes and right here let's click on the picture of a pen copy the link and go back here let's paste it around it at the price says ten dollar just for tutorial purposes only you can change the price right here the details condition is it new refurbished or used so here right here you can turn that on and add more description of your products right here the so colors sizes genders age groups something like that and for the condition right here new once you've done with that, click on save. So uh, here we have uh, the landing page right here. So it will be enlightened that here. So let's copy the landing page here and paste. And once you've done with that, let's save that one again. So once you've cleared this, you can add this one. So you have to add your domain right here. So once you've added with that, you can easily save it and just finish all of those steps so here this is the delivery right here you can edit those settings right here and once you've done with this you can hit on next and make sure to link all or the make sure to fill out all the information that was needed for you to create this account right here so once you've done with it you can hit next and save all of it and that's it. We hope you found this tutorial on how to use Google Merchant Center informative and straightforward. By leveraging the Google Merchant Center, you can optimize your product listing and increase your online visibility, ultimately driving more traffic and sales. Remember to regularly update and optimize your product feed to ensure accuracy and relevance. If you have questions or want to share your experience with Google Merchant Center, Please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and tips on optimizing your online presence. By the way guys, thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video.